Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite Day Explosive 1. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm so sticky. Playing Madden 21, and Jonas was just singing Polly Wally Doodle before this uh, recording started. Was I? You were singing Polly Wally Doodle. That's awesome. Yeah, fairly well, fairly well, fairly well, my fairy fate, yeah. Going to Susiana, Louisiana, Susie and Abby Doobie Dabba Day. You hear this? This is, this is what I have to put up with. Dude, in the meadow, we can build a snowman. This is what I have to put up with. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Jonah singing Polly Wally Doodle. Yeah, dude. Well, fully straight faced. Yeah, dude. I'm a good old straight faced boy over here. <laughs> you are not a straight faced boy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that actually. Yeah, dude, yeah. boy. I'm mad at that. I like to think of myself as a straight face boy too. <laughs> nice. I'm glad that we're on the same page with our faces. <laughs> and their degrees of straightness. <laughs> <laughs> degrees of straightness. Yeah. Well, yeah I, f I feel right, right there on the same page with degrees of straightness. You ever have a rat tail, Jones? No. No. I had long hair, but not a rat tail. Like, how long is long hair? I had hair to my shoulders. Really? But the uh, you went to school with me. I don't remember your hair being long, dude. I uh, didn't look at I your had, face. I had the, the traditional '90s kid thing, where like you shave the shave the underneath, except for like up most of the sides underneath were shaved, and that was long underneath. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. I'm I sorry. I don't know why people did that, but it was nice because it wasn't really <laughs> as thick and way less hot. It wasn't really like an option for me. So I, I I never knew about that. Yeah, I would just get tapers. Yep. Yeah, it, uh, it was cool, dude. I uh, it was long and it was hot and uh, I did things and yeah. So you wouldn't you wouldn't grow your hair back out? No, dude, I'm done with that. Would you grow out just the back so you could have either a mullet and or a rat tail? Mm, I've thought about mulleting. Have, have you really? No. No? Why would I want a mullet, dude? <laughs> I don't know. I, look, Jonas, there's going to come a time where the mullet's going to come. And right? I'm fine with just keeping my hair really short. I don't know. What is the negative connotation with the mullet? Is, it the, type of it. is it the type of person that a mullet is on that has made it bad? I'm just saying it's like, who hurt you to make Nobody you think me that? At all. I just <laughs> don't want the haircut. I don't give a shit. What anybody else has, but why? I mean, but what? Is, there's a look. There's a stigma attached to the mullet, Jonas. Oh, there is, and I think it has to do with like the people who do it. It's just like it's just like there's a stigma for people who wear the swastika on their arm. No, Jonas, mullets and swastikas are totally different. One is a hairstyle, and one is a symbol of peace that was reappropriated for hate. Right, just like the mullet was a symbol of a hairstyle, and then it became hate. It became the way it is because people who have it. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? Come again? <laughs> the mullet used to be a symbol of peace, dude. Now it's not. When, when was the mullet ever a symbol of peace? It was never a symbol. I mean, of there peace. was a time when people had mullets and they weren't like, "Oh, dude, you got a mullet." This is what I'm saying. So, what happened in the mullet's history that changed people's perception of it to think of it as ill? He has a mullet. I, I will mean, never same, let him get in my with pants. Anything else, dude? Like if, like, it's just like if you're wearing a certain style of clothing and you see a bunch of dads wearing it, you stop wearing it because that's dad clothing. If, if, like, if all of a sudden everybody that had like a spiky hairdo became an a-hole, they'd be like, "Whoa, dude, I don't want to be associated with those guys." <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair point. <laughs> Like, you know, point. like, oh my god, my dad's wearing Supreme now. I'm done but, with Supreme. But when I see a person with a mullet, I don't really think like, oh, they're a dad. I don't really think like, oh, they're a racist. I don't, I mean. Dirty, they swim in their own pee. <laughs> I'm thinking like, whoa, they made a poor choice. Poor life decisions. <laughs> right, yeah, dude, exactly. Like, you're judging their life decisions based off their haircut. What if that's all they can do? What if it was like, free haircut, you get a mullet, or we don't cut your hair at all? You're, you know what, Jonas, you're not even wrong. You're not even wrong. I need to look at the mullet. A little. We, we all need to look at the mullet differently. Let's go get mullets today. <laughs> I don't even have any sort of hair to become a mullet. I would have to let my hair grow to become to get it trimmed like a mullet. Uh, honestly, Jonah, I'm telling you right now is that if skinny jeans could come back, then mullets can come back. People just don't like baggy clothes right now. I don't know what that's about, but baggy clothes will come back eventually. 
Oh yeah, dude, I like them. Probably when we're like old kids, will be wearing baggy clothes. We'll be like, you son. They'll be like, yeah, I'll be ninety, and they'll be like, remember them Jinkos we had, Grandpa? Oh yeah, dude. Except they're gonna be all future, future Jinkos. They're gonna be made out of like velour. <laughs> they're gonna be like making like bell bottom Jinko velour jumpsuits. I don't even, I don't even they're gonna know what bell the, the wrists and bell the ankles. They're gonna be like a giant effing angel costume, dude. Oh, they put their arms out, I like that like, Pope gear. Pope gear, yeah. Yeah, dude. Papal with your papal gear. Get You're your... papering with the poke. Pope, poke in the pope, you pope. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I got sack. Yep. <laughs> Why are you making me get sack, dude? But yeah, dude, I would definitely get some papal wear. Some pope wear? <laughs> yeah, dude. I might, I might wear a uh, velour angel suit, dude. And do you realize there was a time where guys would just like straight up wear dresses? They still do. Yeah, but you can't, like, do that. This is just what I'm talking about, Jonas. I just don't understand what changes. Like, I know times times change. And, you know, when, when we were growing up, larger clothes were in line. And now skinnier clothes are in line. And that was the kind of stuff that, like, your parents would wear. Yeah, it's because people are fat shaming now. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. It seems great. Right. If anything, body positivity is, is a term that is used just, like loosely nowadays yeah, like, but oh, I, I think it's like one of those things they throw around the word but it's not really meant I don't know Jonas man they have like plus size models did they have plus size models back then I don't know I don't know what, I didn't watch modeling you didn't watch modeling not back then no yeah they have like plus size models and you know LGBTQ and all that kind of stuff yeah I feel you <laughs> that doesn't mean people like it People don't like plus size models. I don't know, dude. I, I'm fine with it, but that doesn't mean like the the, the status quo thinks it's okay. Yeah. People out there are D's, dude. You, know, you don't like big girls? No, I do. I All right, good for, good for you, Jones. You gotta like a little thickness on the little meat on the bone. I like anyone who has a uh, what a decent personality. No, my God, <laughs> not what you mouthed with your mouth, <laughs> with your eyes. Your eye mouths were saying something different than your mouth mouth. I'm sorry that you heard different words come out of my no, mouth. No, I didn't hear I different did. words. I saw different words in your eyes. 38 to 7. Go Brown. Uh, no, dude, you didn't. I did. You're trying to gaslight me now. Nah, dude. You date anything with a good personality. No, no. I won't date anything with a good personality. That's just I like people that have good personalities. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, man, ain't nothing wrong. With, ain't nothing wrong with a thick chick. No, nah, dude, but not if you're an a-hole. <laughs> I don't care if you're 108 pounds or 308 pounds. Ugh. You're an a-hole. You're an a-hole. <laughs> I am not okay with a-holes, dude. What else? What are some of the other things that uh, you ever wore your clothes backwards, like uh, nah, dude, like crisscross, like cross, dude? Totally crossed out. No, dude, I didn't. Crisscross was a uh, American rap group duo. I believe one of them passed away. Yeah, he uh, did. He missed the bus. Uh, Jonas, that's he, he's, he's it's a man's life we're talking about here. I'm saying he in, didn't miss the bus in the in the song he did. I believe he passed away from a debilitating disease. No, um, in the song he missed the bus. Yeah, well, yes, in the song, but. You know, he was he was more than that. He had children, uh, but oh, yeah, he. he, he, he I'm gonna make you be sad about Chris dying. All right, <laughs> one way or another. I was already sad when Chris died. He owned three orphanages. He and owned three or he owned a lot of kids. <laughs> he owned three orphanages and a uh, uh, animal sanctuary. Oh, uh, and they all were closed when he passed away because they didn't were they make euthanized. It. The kids or the animals? Any. All of them, Jonas. Wow, they closed his businesses and euthanized all the <laughs> What life. are you going to do with all those animals and kids? I don't know, dude. Yeah, are you sad now? Nope. All right, well. I'm heartless. Oh, I just broke two tackles and made this dude look like a beast. You better not catch me. There's a Get flag on here, the play dude. anyway, dude. There's a flag on the play. we got to bring that back. We're bringing it back. But yeah, uh, American rap group, and they had their thing was that they were wearing their pants and their shirts backwards because it was the '90s, Jonas. This is right up your freaking no, alley. No, what, really what they mad. said was because Inside Out is wiggity 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 whack. 
Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it is really dumb. If they came out wearing the clothes inside out, I would be like, you are idiots. You're wiggity whack. I don't know what that means exactly. It would be wiggity whack. I don't know what that means, though. What is Ask Chris. It, what is wiggity whack exactly? Could you explain the wiggity? What's the entomology of I mean, you know whack? what whack is, right? No. If something's if, whack. So I'm going to whack you right now. No, you know, you know that if somebody says something is whack... It this, is not okay. Is this a masturbation thing? I'm from, I'm not familiar. And then if it's wiggity whack, in the 80s, wiggity was like an adjective that made it even more. Oh, an extreme degree of, of whack. Yeah, wiggity whackness. whack. If it was uh, wiggity hot, <laughs> so could I? <laughs> it would be extremely hot outside. Are you, you? So can I wiggity whack you? No. You can't wiggity whack a person. I mean, are you, you trying to wiggity whack me? Hit them, I guess. Are you trying to wiggity whack me? Nope. You better, you never gaslight you. Never try to whack whack me. <laughs> Don't you ever whack on or off <laughs> me? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> ever catch you trying to whack around me, sir? You ever do any sort of whacking around me, unless it's yeah. me whacking? Especially wiggity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better not be wiggity anything around. But yeah, I don't know why they wore the clothes uh, backwards, but... They just wanted to do something different. They wanted to be trendsetters, dude. Yeah, I did it once. Went to the grocery store with my clothes backwards. What did they say? I had overalls. Of course, light blue. Light light blue denim overalls. Oh, which dude. Was, you know, wash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yes. With only the one strap up. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude. And it was on the back. And a cross color shirt underneath it. You already know. Dude, <laughs> you were really cool. Dude, I thought I you were going to say cool black. You were, dude. <laughs> I swear I thought you were going to say black. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, dude, you were really black back then. No. Like, yeah, really I cool. was. No, you're really cool is what I said. <laughs> Don't be putting racial slurs. It's not a racial slur. I would never call anyone their ethnicity. <laughs> their face. That's such a good point, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a good thing. <laughs> and that's like, it's such a th- weird thing. Like, I would never be like, you're so white. <laughs> to a white person, I would just be like, aw. You wouldn't say that to a white person. never say, like, you're so Hispanic oh, to an Hispanic come person. come on, Joe. Look, look. That's you... a very Hispanic thing to do. Look, Joe, wait, hold on. That would you... be very racist. No, listen, Joe, wait, look. You and the Caucasian homie sitting around. You and the Caucasian homie. <laughs> You and the Caucasian homie sitting around, okay. you know, the, the campfire discussing your Talking egg. Talking about how the managers, how we talked to a manager that day, how we were. Sure, you're discussing how angry the managers at uh, Stop and Shop made you, and you're you're just mad, and then the dude talks about what he had on the shopping list, and he names off, you know, some, like, potato salad and extra mayonnaise or, like, some <laughs> some Wonder Bread or something. You don't, you don't sit there and say, hey. That's mighty white of you. No, just <laughs> listen, listen. No, I feel like I, I, I. No, never mind. You know what? <laughs> I take it back. I apologize. I don't even know where you were going with that, but I, I don't. Guess... I'm just that I've heard. I've heard Caucasian people say that. That is white of them. Yeah, mighty white of you. Yeah, I've heard that. Like with, either with dancing, be like, oh my god, I can't dance. I'm so. Oh. Or like, I mean, but that's like it's it's just as wrong as saying like, oh, you like that? That's so <laughs> it's so <laughs> race of you. Yeah, but it's all right to do it to yourself. Sep- it's like self-deprecation. Yeah, I guess. All right, fine. Never mind, John. It's never. We're not gonna discuss okay. colors anymore. What is just, this coming out of the back gonna, of this We're not going to discuss what? Who is the, wait, Jonas, who is this guy with the thing coming out of it, the tail? <laughs> His raccoon tail? Yes, who is this? Do you know this man? Yeah, dude, I know who that is. Who is that? That's Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry of the what? Tennessee Titans. Why is that his hair? I don't, it's been like that for a while, dude. It's weird. Oh, are we playing, we're playing, we're playing Houston right now. Oh, are we the Tennessee Titans? No, we're the Oilers. Yep. Oh, we're playing, I do it's the game. It's the actual game that's on the TV game. Again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't, don't give me that yeah ish. Yeah, we're playing the we're playing the weeks like they're supposed to be played. Dude, we should release these games on the day that the real games come out. They'd all be on Sunday. 
I'm sorry. Is that a problem? The NFL. What are we gonna do the other six days of the week? Uh, We're gonna put out five videos on Sunday and nothing else. Starve these fools, dude. <laughs> so, I don't think that works that way. Just, They're not gonna mass consume on a Sunday. They're watching the real game. I don't. Want, I don't mean to call you guys fools either, but you know. I don't you think know. they're fools. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're fools. Whose side are you on here? Everyone's side. No, you're on my side. You're on team team dynamite. Team TNT's side. Dude. Team team Jonamite. Team Jonamite down on the farm. Oh man! All right, Jonas. Uh, let Let's see what what else we got on the agenda here. Uh, Ooh, that. How do you feel about angel hair spaghetti? I have an issue with it. Yeah, me too, dude. It's too thin. I'm not in, dude, with that. Yeah, it's too much. I don't like... I'm going to come with a hot take. I don't like regular spaghetti either. I like thin spaghetti. I like I like the middle version. I don't like the thickest, and I don't like the thinnest, because there's spaghetti, thin spaghetti, and angel hair spaghetti. Okay, so uh, angel hair spaghetti is terrible, and then you can tell me why you think thick spaghetti is terrible. It takes too long to cook. Angel hair spaghetti is terrible because, like... Even when you put sauce on it, you get, like, too much in your mouth. And it just makes, like, this weird... It turns into a mush. Yeah. It's just like it's just like you can... You try to get, like, a normal amount of spaghetti, and then it's just like... It's too much. It's like eating a brush. It is definitely bad. Why is thick spaghetti bad? It takes too long to cook. Oh, so you... And you, you don't get enough sauce. Okay. Uh, I, w- I thought you were going to go into the texture of it. I mean, that's kind of weird, too, I guess. It's like biting into a big starch beef jerky Slim Jim. Yeah, it's weird, dude. I don't know why. Just a thick rod of starch. Yeah, I was like, why is this so big? That's what she said, dude. Exactly, dude. I can't even fit all of this in my... Why did it show this dude's ass? I don't know, dude. But that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've done that, he does Twitch. TNT, I'm, I'm on Twitch. TNT, I'm on my GHT underscore crazy style, twitch.tv. Heck yeah for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we will see you on the next one. We are out. Uh,